to try to go for it on fourth down and five from the Colonial 19. Look for them to put Cook out on the edge, Chris, to put pressure on this defense. Don't let him stay into the pocket. They want to get him out on the edge and try to pick the first down up with his feet. Reed in motion out to the left side. Here's Cook off the play fake, and he'll be chased to the right. He throws up a prayer for the end zone, and a fight for the football's broken up. It's broken up and incomplete. John Muehlbauer came alive there as the pass was intended for Malik Henderson, the tight end who was down at around the goal post, cutting to the far side of the end zone. Yeah, let me take a look. These numbers don't Please get do. any better with Gray. Valenzuela's kick. Fair catch called for. And the ball is muffed. And it comes loose. And Virginia State is recovered down at the 18-yard line. Deval Brown was the closest defender to the receiver on that play. Here is a 31-yard attempt. It's going to be blocked at the line of scrimmage. And it'll bounce into the end zone. It's no good. The Colonials block a Virginia State field goal, and the score remains Now Walker goes back into the pistol on first down. Play fake. He'll roll to the left. He'll throw to the end zone. Delano Madison. Jump catch at the two-yard oh, line. Come on. Oh, and roll it out of bounds. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. Let's watch a replay on that if we have it. Delano Madison stopped just shy of the goal line, jumped up, caught the ball, and fell down on the chalk, and they're going to rule that out of bounds. Where's Green shirt at? Bring that replay out just because that, Chris, and it looks like he's coming out there. Green vest now coming out for the replay. He obviously caught the ball, Chris. Matt Barr's in. How about that? And the run will go to the left, and he's in for the touchdown. How about that? The Colonials change things up. Matt Barr, who was... Formerly the starting quarterback of the Robert Morris Colonials has been shifted to tight end, comes in as a wildcat and takes the snap, runs it left, touchdown Robert Morris from a yard away. Robert Morris overloading the left-hand side. They put Gonzo on the line. They put C. Petrek in the backfield with him as a fullback, and he takes a direct snap, Chris, and he just piles, drives himself into the end zone. Robert Morris tying it up, looking to get ahead right now, 7-6. to six. Nick Viseglia on to kick. Adam Check is the holder. They put it together. The kick is on its way. It's launched tall and through the uprights to the left. Elijah Jackson, the running back off the left shoulder of Jimmy Walker, who's going to sweep right now, throw to the end zone. And there's a fight for the ball, and it looks like it's picked off by Virginia State. They pick it off. They stepped in front of Gonzalez, the intended receiver, deep in the right corner of the end zone. And it's intercepted, so the Colonial Drive is shut down with 2.23 left in Florida. Quickly, Virginia State goes back on the attack. Play fake, and now a pass over the middle, oh! and it's tipped up into the air and intercepted by Tyler Lamica at the 47-yard line in the Colonial end of the field. And it was all set up by the tip. See if we can get an eyeball on who had it. Somebody on the line of scrimmage, and you're telling me, Brian, Amir Fenwick got a big right mid up into the air, batted that ball up, and Lamica was able to run under it and catch it before it hit the ground. Into the right side by the tight end, and Cook calling for the snap, gets it, and he gives it to Strickland. Strickland bounces oh. to the right side. Second, third effort. He's into the end zone for a seven-yard touchdown run. And Virginia State comes back to take its second lead of this ball game. They're up 12 to seven over Robert Morris. And let's see if they go for two or try to kick the point in. Looks like they're gonna kick the point in, Chris, but not one, two, but three missed tackles right there that Strickland just kept his legs driving. Five foot, 890 pounds, sophomore. For Virginia State calls the timeout. They bring the offense back. They're gonna go for two. Cook gets a snap, rolls right, looks, looks, throws, and the ball is complete to Strickland, but to the two-yard line, and Neal wraps his arms around Strickland and plants him so he can't get into the end zone, so the score will remain. Virginia State 12, 
Robert Morris, seven. Great coverage right there for Robert Morris. They let the running back go out into the flat. Good pass off between the inside linebacker to Neal. I mean, Michigan and Notre Dame solved their issues, right? Yeah. Here's a throw oh. by Walker. It's going to be picked off. Intercepted and down the sideline. On the return this time is going to be Vincent Parker, and Parker will take it down inside the 25-yard line. He stepped out of bounds at the 23. Vincent, Vincent Parker, Chris, just sat back, baited Jimmy. He said, throw it, throw it. You're not going to throw it. He had Stevens wide open in the flat out there. So Robert Morris to end the game. Why not give the quarterback possibly of the future a little bit of an opportunity if we have some struggles. A fumble on the field, the ball rolls into the end zone and Virginia State will attack it and they're gonna cover it and score. Oh, the worst of things that could happen. A fumble on the exchange from Walker to Terrence Stevens. And it got covered up. Or was it Elijah Jackson who was in playing running back? My it was, mistake. Yeah, it was Jackson right there, Chris. It's tough to see down here because it's starting to get dark out there. Underneath handoff, Chris, it looks like a miscommunication. In a situation, I'm trying to see the replay. Sometimes a young running back will actually try to grab for it. And no, it was Jimmy Walker. He didn't put that ball into his belly, put it off his elbow. That ball squirted loose in the worst possible time. And that ball was just fumbling around and everybody diving for it. We're starting to call new names. They're cycling guys in there to keep that front four fresh. Walker, two-step drop again. Fires down the Got right him. side. Gonzalez open, 40, 50. There goes Matthew Gonzalez, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Robert Morris. How about that? 81 yards. Matthew Gonzalez from Jimmy Walker on the dead fly down the near sideline. Obvious broken coverage right there from Virginia State. Only rushed three, played a soft zone, but there was nobody over top. Gonzalez, boy, he just ran five yards right past the DB, put his hands up. Jimmy Walker sees it, floats a tough pass. Anytime you have someone that wide open, Chris, it's a difficult pass and a difficult catch. Gonzalez catches it and turns on the Jets. You can see how athletic that tight end is. Now Robert Moore is back into this game. Extra point kick by Nick Maseglia out of the Adam check hold is high, tall, end over end, and it is through the pipes. And the Colonials to kick off to Virginia State. Here's the run up, Maseglia is in to kick, oh, it's an onside kick, it. and the Colonials cover! A looping, tall, high ball covered by Thomas Neal on a jump fly to the football. A perfectly executed onside kick. And I had my suspicions when I saw number 49 <laughs> out there that something was up. And Biseglia just had a high can of corn, as they say in baseball. Not your normal kickoff guy, Chris. Great eye right there. Stevens, the running back. Blitz faked. Now they back up. Walker throws for the end zone again. This time it is cut for the touchdown. Warren Robinson taking it into the blue paint in the end zone and then cutting to the left, looking it in over his left shoulder. Touchdown, Robert Morris. Now they're on for two. And here comes Walker. It's going to be a toss. Shovel. A pitch, a shovel pass, if you will, straight up the middle. Thank you, Ryan. And it is good. It goes in as the shovel pass completion and the carry over the goal line for Terrence Stevens. So the Colonials are up 22 to 19, a field goal lead here. And that two-point conversion was extremely, extremely important. Extremely important now because the best, if they do go for a field goal, Chris, they could just tie it up and maybe go into overtime. But now they have to think about it, field goal or touchdown. And I think that Virginia State coaches a little bit, Chris, not saying they got a little cute when they had the ball deep. And the pistol. Colonials showing some heat from the edges. Cook drops back, now steps up in the pocket. He's going to be hit and dragged down and sacked on the play. A great defensive stand here for Robert Morris. That was Miles Canton who came in there and belted the quarterback and hung off for dear life so he wouldn't be able to break loose. Canton coming in for the injured Milbauer, but what? Ah, Strickland 
gets the toss. Strickland gets one arm tackled as time winds down. And Robert Morris. Nope, nope. They're gonna they're gonna put time back on the clock. One second remaining is what he's saying. So the field goal kicker for Virginia State is out. Jesus. No, oh, he's a right footed. Sorry. Yeah, he's right footed. Sorry. Valenzuela, who had one kick blocked earlier today. One muff snapped. This from the 11-yard line. It'll be a 21-yard attempt. The angle, a heavy right to left. For overtime. Kick Mark, it Mark, 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 it the Colonials block the field goal attempt. There will be no overtime. Robert Morris wins with a blocked field goal. No time left. Final score, the Colonials 22, Virginia State 19.